एवरी वन एंड निधि वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो आई एम डन विद माई फर्स्ट ईयर एम बी बी एस एंड नाउ आई एम एंट्रिंग माई सेकेंड ईयर आई एव ऑलरेडी मेड अ वीडियो अबाउट माई अनाटमी वाइवा सो इन टू डेज वीडियो आई गोट टेल यू अबाउट माई फिजियोलॉजी वाइवा सो आउट ऑफ द थ्री सब्जेक्ट्स अनाटमी फिजियो एंड बायो केम अनाटमी वाइवा इज द वन दैट इज कंसिडर द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट बट दैट इज नॉट मीन यू डो नॉट स्टडी फॉर फिजियो एंड बायो केम यू हैव टू स्टडी फॉर फिजियो एंड बायो केम बट इट इज ईजियर कंपेयर टू योर अनाटमी वाइवा so when we went for the physio viva we had to carry a completed um, journal and a physio log books with us and then we had to submit it a physio viva is also divided into a number of heads uh, first we went for a hematology practical so when we entered the hematology lab there were number of cards kept we had to pick up a card randomly and go and stand on the table mentioning the card so when you go on a table you find a file which is your very own file every person gets a separate file which has different questions and different experiments uh, so our hemat practicals has got microscopic experiments and non microscopic experiments under the non microscopic experiments you have btct matlab bleeding time and clotting time then you have uh, finding the amount of hemoglobin in your blood by sarees method then you have uh, estimating your own blood group so this comes under the non microscopic section then in the microscopic section which is considered more difficult you have got a uh, finding your rbc count then you have to find your wbc count dlc differential leukocyte count so these are more elaborate and lengthy and a little difficult because uh, it's not easy to you know make the smear and all it takes it, it, it kind of creates a mess so the non microscopic experiments are a lot easier compared to the microscopic experiments so when i picked up my card i got a btct and estimation of hemoglobin which is really easy luckily i got the non microscopic experiment after you done with your uh, hemat experiment uh, the examiner will come and ask you questions about your experiment so that is your viva that is your hemat viva so after you done with hemat you go for clinical physiology clinical physiology is again divided into two clinical one and clinical two so in clinical physiology basically you have got inspection palpation auscultation so for my clinical physiology viva i was asked to uh, percuss the right border of heart then i was asked to uh, demonstrate the ankle jerk movement and also palpate the liver which is easy uh, so earlier we used to have this concept of grand viva which was a a uh, huge cabin viva for 20 whole marks which was a little difficult because then you got 20 marks in the hands of just one examiner but in the main university exam it's not like that the 20 marks are divided into four so you have got four vivas of five marks each five 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 so that makes 20 so along with my clinical physiology viva i was also asked questions related to what i was doing and the examiner also asked me questions uh, related to the theory after that you have to go for experimental physiology where you got ecg perimetry uh, cpr basically all the human experiments i got howard step test in my file so along with your experimental physiology viva the examiner will ask you all the uh, theory based questions as well so that is the end of your physio viva you do not have to worry much about your physiology viva uh, just do whatever is given in your journals and go for it Uh, you do not have to be nervous at all because it is not as strict as your anatomy viva but still study well and go for the exam don't be too casual uh, the problem is you have a one month gap between your theory exam and your practicals so you might forget the theory a little so my advice would be revise your theory topics regularly maybe like one or two hours per day during that one month break so that you don't forget whatever you have learned for your theory so i shared my experience and i hope it was helpful in case you have any questions or doubts you can always ask them in the comments and please share the video with your friends and if you really like the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching bye